Game Maker, how to check if more than one key is being pressed at the same time by the user. Obviously, this is a good one to put into your program if uh, two keys need to be pressed down. This can work for diagonal movement. Uh, the up arrow and the left arrow are being pressed, which there is a video called Diagonal Movement you can check out. Or if you just want to do something like, uh, you know, drop a bomb, they have to hit, you know, A and W at the same time or something like that. So here's the basics. So you can check out and see uh, how this works. Let's just go to our program here. I'm going to do it with the player. And I'll just get the player to do something simple here, like uh, drop an apple when you press two keys at the same time. So player. Now the thing is with checking keys is you basically have to constantly be asking the keyboard, hey, is this key pressed? And is this key pressed right now? So this is something that constantly has to be asked. So a good place to put this is in the event step. So it's constantly asking. And in the step code, here's basic double key checking. So player step. All we want to do is ask something like this. If keyboard check. Now this is where you name your key. Now Game Maker has a couple key codes that you can actually find pretty fast if you just go to their help file and you actually go to uh, the keyboard constants in the help and you can see here they have a list of all the special keys here. I'll do something like the uh, alt key which is VK alt and then I'll do Q for quit. Maybe I'll just do like a quit game by hitting alt Q. So if keyboard check, VK, alt. Now you could say if it equals true, but doing this is actually exactly the same. If it's true that this key is being pressed, this will return true for you. But the thing is I want to check a second key as well. So I ask keyboard. Now for the Q key, it's a little bit different. All the letters in Game Maker you actually check like that. So obviously this is just to prove it's working here. Oh, I've messed something up. It doesn't like this. If keyboard check, VK alt and keyboard. Ah, there we go. Keyboard check. The Q letter. Now you always put a capital letter in here, even if it's, I mean, a little Q, capital Q, same thing, right? It's the Q key. And then this code should run. Okay, now obviously you can do anything you want in there. But this is your standard checking two keys at once being pressed. Let's give it a go. Now I hit the Alt key. Nothing. I hit the Q key. You got to trust me. Nothing. I hit Alt Q. Quit. Okay. I mean, if you wanted to make this so uh, there's three keys, you obviously just add yourself an extra keyboard. Now, what should be noted here, and it's a bit of a mystery depending on your keyboard, is you can only have so many keys being pressed at once, and it also depends on your keyboard, and you actually have no idea which keys are going to work in combination with other keys. So you sort of have to test it out. For example, if the player is holding the up arrow and the right arrow to move diagonally, and they're holding the A and D key to do something fancy, those four particular keys being held down at once might not actually work. Depending on the keyboard, it might actually only let you have three of those keys being registered. And in which case, when those four keys are being pressed, you'll never get both those combinations working at the same time. So it's not a good idea to have too many things in your game where you actually ask, you know, where are these six keys being pressed down? It's a little bit odd, right? Try to limit it to two or three keys and then uh, obviously test it out to make sure it works. Thanks for watching this one. Hopefully that helps you get a couple uh, double key things working in your program.